Hello, guys. What happened? Hello, Alan. Hi. Hi. We tried to join my lesson, and you were unsuccessful. Yes, I tried to support, and Artyom helps me. Oh, what happened? I, it's not my fault. I was just sitting here waiting. I did everything <laughs> I yeah, usually I, do. I can see your record, but I couldn't join. There is no button to join. Uh, yes, I see, I see. Ah, uh, okay, that's good. I'm glad they got it fixed. Hi, Artyom. You got it sorted, yeah? Thank you, Artyom. Yeah, Artyom, thank you very much. Maybe he can't hear us. No, we can't hear you. No. Hi, Xenia, by the way. Welcome, all of you. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Okay, I think Artyom just wanted to make sure that we're all safe and everything works fine. Yeah, it's strange. I don't know why that happened. Um, I could see that, you know, nobody was, nobody joined my lesson, but uh, there was one viewer watching. It was me. It was you, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's strange. I see a lesson record, but I cannot mm -hmm. join, so I write to Artyom and he helps. I didn't see anything at all. Okay. Yeah. I have uh, Alan in my circle, so I have uh, notifications, maybe. That's why. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, there was something uh, strange with... Uh, um, just was he's, he's asking, he's asking me again. Uh, one second. Uh, Or three minutes. Yeah, he's just asking me something. Um, I think there's a problem. They they need to fix it. Okay. All right, guys. Um, yeah. So let us start now. Let us not um, waste any more precious time. So without further ado, let us begin. Um, Sergey and Xenia, both of you were here last Friday, correct? We did the articles. Yes, I was, I was here. You were here. Xenia. It was yesterday, yeah? No, last Friday. Um, no, yesterday we did something else that was um, uh, countable and uncountable nouns. On um, Friday, every Friday, we do a different grammar practice. No, I wasn't. Uh, you weren't there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no dramas. So, um, we actually just started the exercises. So, let me go, go to the very top so you see what we're doing. Basically, we're going to practice and learn how to use articles. So when to use them and when not to use them. Okay, uh, so there's about four or five pages of, um, you know, like a grammar review about this, which I don't think we'll have time to go over again because it took us half an hour to do last time. So what I'll do, I'm going to give you the link. Okay, so every time we come up to a question and you're not sure, I want you to look at these first four pages and then see if you can figure it out for yourself. Um, see if you can find the answer. So just give me a second until I find it. Articles, here it is. Okay, so in the chat, you will see a link for this PDF. All right, in total, it's got 15 pages. So the first five are actually talking about the grammar. It's a quick and handy grammar review. So I want you to always refer to the, those pages, the, the second, third, the fourth, 
yeah, and the fifth, they talk about when to use the, uh, when to use a, when to use an, and when not to use any articles. All right, so let us begin with the first exercise. And I think most of you, or pretty much all of you, will know most, most of these anyways. So, um, but if there is a, a question that needs to be dealt with, you know, feel free to, uh, to ask that question. Hello, Andre. Welcome back. Good to see you. There's probably something with the sound. Yeah, Andre, can you hear me? Can you write in the chat? Oh, he can't. Maybe his wife is back. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be quiet. That's fine. No problems, Andre. Um, either way, we're glad that you're with us. So, exercise number one. Sergey, let's start with you. Number one. I'll make it a bit bigger so you can see. All right, so which article do you think fits there? And see if you can get it right. A, it's not difficult to play a guitar. It's not difficult to play a guitar. OK, why do you think we use a? Uh, because we don't know what guitar exactly to play. Mm -hmm. We don't know what guitar. Yeah, good. Yeah, very good. So we say a uh, guitar. Yeah, excellent. Um, let me see. All right, good. All right, number two. Uh, Xenia? Uh, the wolves are very dangerous animals. Uh, um, the wolves are very dangerous animals. Does anyone disagree? I disagree. Why? Uh, because uh, there is many wolves and I think there is no need to use an article. Ah, yes. Good. So here... We're talking about wolves in general. Yeah? If we use the, then we have to use wolves, but in singular. So the wolf is a very dangerous animal. But the most common way to say it is without any articles. So wolves are very dangerous animals. Okay, so we have to choose you know, even sometimes this option, no article. Okay, number three. Julia? Uh, who invented a light bulb? Though I'm not sure. It seems that it's general, like... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Who invented... Probably the light bulb. Yes, it's going to be the. Why the? Because the first one. We know what we're talking about. So it's the light bulb. It's yeah. the invention. An invention. And you're referring to a specific invention. Yeah. We say the, the light bulb. Okay. Who invented the car? Who invented the airplane? Same. Okay. Good. Number four. Andre, can you speak? Yes. Okay. Right now, yes. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, have you ever eaten um, Indian food without article? Very good. Have you ever eaten Indian food? We don't say a uh, or an or the. Very mm -hmm. good. Five. Sergey? Um, blame computers are really useful tools. The, the computers? Anyone, dis anyone disagree? 
It's a plural. We mustn't use a and with plural. No? Well, a only is singular. Well, it's plural, but uh, it's a class of the machines or devices. Mm -hmm. It's something like wolves, maybe computer. Yes, yeah, it's just like wolves. We're generalizing. Computers are really useful tools. Wolves are very dangerous animals. Mm -hmm. Oracles, them. Yeah. Dolphins are very smart. Okay, so no articles needed again. All right, next one. Xenia. The personal computer was first used in 1982. Very good. The personal computer, the PC. You see here? Like I said before, if it's in singular, you got to put the. The personal computer was first used in 1982. Very good. Seven. Julia? Uh, the fastest animal in the world is uh, a cheetah. Though I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure again because I'm thinking <laughs> is it about uh, the distinct uh, species or, or not? Mm. Yeah, here we're talking about the cheetah, like the light bulb. Yeah? It's the cheetah. The cheetah, the animal cheetah, the species. Okay? Well, what about eight? Andre. Uh, the Nile, the new river, is the long, longest river in Africa. Rivers, uh, they remember, <laughs> uh, should should have the article there, or maybe. Yeah, uh, yes. No, you're correct. The Nile River is the longest river in Africa. Very good, excellent. Nile. Mm. Yeah. All right, nine. A river which is polluted is not safe for fishing. I think it's without article because we don't know what river exactly. Ah, uh, so when we don't know, then we have to say that. No, ah. So ah uh, means like any river, any river which is polluted, a river, a river which is polluted, is not safe for fishing. Okay. okay. All right. Ten. The movie that I saw last night was very good. Article there. Yeah, the movie that I saw last night was very good. Now we're talking about, you know, particular, particular movie, yeah, that you've seen last night. Very good. All right, what about eleven, Julia? I really hate scary movies without articles. In very good. Scary movies, plural. I really hate scary movies. I'm afraid of wolves. Again, yeah? All right, 12. Uh, hello, Elena. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello. Good, to see, good to see you. Uh, hi, hi. Glad to see you, too. Thank you. Okay, so we're doing articles. So yeah, yes. can you do uh -huh. number 12 mm -hmm. and tell me, do we have to say a, and, mm -hmm. the, or no article? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number 12. For me? Yes. Uh -huh, thank you. The conference will be held at the Riggs Hotel. Yes, at the Regis Hotel, because we know it's a specific hotel. Uh -huh. hotel. Very uh -huh. good. Well done. 13, Sergei. The victim was taken to the Hengsek Hospital. Yeah. Hackensack, Hackensack Hospital. Hackensack yeah. Hospital, because it's a specific, particular hospital. Very good. Not just any. If we don't say the victim was taken to a hospital. If it's any, any hospital, we say a hospital, yeah? But if you know a specific one, 
with use the name. It. We gotta use the. Excellent. All right. What about fourteen? Stania. The Taj Mahal is located in India. The Taj Mahal is located in India. Do we agree? Yes. Yeah, the Taj Mahal. Yes. It's a uh, big building, like used to be a mosque, I believe. And yeah, so it's the Taj Mahal. All right, number fifteen, Julia. Uh, the Mississippi River is very long. I. Mm -hmm. Do we agree? Yes, there. Yeah, you're happy? The Mississippi River is very long. It goes to the Mississippi, a particular river. Yes, good. But is there an exception with the rivers? Could you have a look in the link that I gave you? Uh, and see if you can find it. The horse has. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Strong of our stone. Did you find it? It's on the third page. On the third page? Okay, which box? Aha, uh -huh, the first one. Very good. Yeah, I want to see yeah. evidence. Very good. So the Mississippi River, the Pacific. Yeah, so oceans, seas, deserts, and so on. Very good. Okay, moving on. Sixteen. Whose turn is it? Julia or Elena? No, actually, it's not my turn. Or Elena? <clears throat> uh huh. Uh, um, likes are usually cleaner than a rivers. Mm. You said ah. Ah. Lakes is plural. Rivers is plural. Yeah. When it comes to plurals, we never say. We a never say article. Yes. Like yeah, likes. Lakes are usually cleaner than rivers. Yes, that's better. So no articles are needed here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Seventeen. Who's turn? Uh, we're going in the same from right to left, so Sergey. Northern part of China is very cold. The because of the specific part of China, maybe. Very good. Yeah, specific part or location or dive, you know, talking about the northern part. Yeah. So we have to say that. 18. Same, yeah. She gave me advice. Without that, and advice. She gave me. Or oh, an in advice or no article on this now. She gave me an advice. Any objections? Advice? No objections. You all agree with her. Yes. She gave me an advice. Is advice countable? No. Okay, it's not countable. Okay, so let's have a look. No find, find this, and I want you to t show me where it is. Yes, it's countable. Tell me where is the proof. I want you to get used to using this um, table or this chart. Mm -hmm. 
I think with, without article. Uh -huh. You think it's without? without. Mm -hmm. She gave me advice. Mm, uh, I don't know if it's here. Probably not. Yeah, uh, it's going to be advice. You can say some advice. She gave me some advice, but not an advice because mm -hmm. it's not countable. We cannot count it. Without okay. article? Yeah, without article. Without article. Yeah. So it, it cannot be advices? Yeah, we cannot say advices because we cannot count, count it. Uh, she gave me advice, yes? Yes, so she mm -hmm. gave me advice. If you wanted to say, you can say she gave me some advice. Or she gave me, yeah, she gave me some advice. Mm -hmm. Okay, 19. Okay. Julia, is it your turn? I ate an apple for lunch. Yeah, I, I ate an apple. Very good. Okay, 20. Elena? Mm -hmm. He was born in, uh, in the taxi cab. Mm. In some... Mm, someone specific taxi cab. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so taxi cab it's means only taxi. one in our life <laughs> was born. Yeah, okay. Was born in the taxi cab. But remember the hospital here. We had <laughs> the Hackensack Hospital. So we have a name. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we know what hospital it was. Do we know what taxi it was? It's just any taxi, like any hospital. Any taxi. Yeah, so? He was yeah. born in a taxi cab. Very good. Yeah, he was born in a taxi cab. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he was born in a taxi or taxi cab. Mm -hmm. Very good. 21. Sergey? I, I ate blind breakfast at seven o'clock. Sorry? I ate the breakfast at seven o'clock. No, no article. Yeah, no article. We just say I ate I ate breakfast. Yeah, I ate breakfast at seven o'clock. Or oh, I had dinner an hour ago. I had lunch, like Yulia, she had lunch a couple of hours ago, yeah? We don't use any articles with these. Okay, 22. Chile is located in the South America. Hmm. Does anyone disagree? I think it's no article, mm -hmm. but I can't explain why. Okay, let's have a look. Just to this. Uh, Xenia, find me the use of countries. Mm -hmm. Can you see it anywhere? In South, In South America. America. Yeah, without article. You see here? Result. Mm -hmm. So countries, we usually don't. We usually don't have any articles uh, unless the country has union, um, like the United Kingdom, or they have the Republic of. So whenever, whenever you see of, we say the, or the Soviet Union. Yeah, China. Uh, no, no articles. Spain, no. South America as a continent, no. And so on. South Africa, same. Okay, where are we? All right, 23. Julia? Uh, uh, 
My sister had an X-ray on her, her arm taken. Yes, very good. An X-ray. <laughs> Even though the letter X is here, but we have to say an because why, Julia? Or because um, it it pronou it's pronounced with a uh, e. Okay. Yeah, it has a vowel sound, yeah? Yeah, vowel sound, yes. Yeah. So the, the, this word x-ray begins with a vowel sound, even though it's a consonant letter itself, but the sound begins with a vowel, e x, so an x-ray. Very good. 24, Elena. No, uh, not everyone can be a pilot. Very good. We're talking about a pilot, not a specific pilot or whatever. So any pilot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Or and not anyone can be a doctor as well. It's a profession. Yeah. Yeah. Sergey. I have never eaten blink bread from Afghanistan. I have never eaten a bread from Afghanistan. No, without article. Yeah, no article needed here as well. I have never eaten bread from Afghanistan. And what if is it some specific kind of bread? Also don't need to use it? Uh, sorry, if it's a specific bread? And maybe that brand you buy all the time. I think bread is non-countable. Yeah, good. So. Yeah, bread we cannot count. We say a loaf of bread, remember? Yeah, it's a loaf. Like, yeah, it's we would say a loaf of bread. And if it's a specific name, then you would have that name in front of it. And you still don't use an article. There's no need to use an article at all. Okay. All right, guys, that was pretty good. Let's move on to the next page. Now, in this exercise, we need to work out whether it's a or N. That should be pretty easy, I think. Okay, Xenia, the first one. Snapton Jackson is a honest woman. Senator Jackson is? N. Yes. Honest woman. Good. N. Honest. This H? N. Honest. Without H, yeah. Yeah, the H is silent. Very good. Senator Jackson is an honest woman. Good. Number two, Julia. The teachers at Trinity College belongs to... Um, <laughs> to the union. So we have to say a uh, or an? Okay, an. You think it's an? Um, I think it's a. Why? Uh, because you is not exactly well. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's y. So even though the letter is a is a uh, vowel, but the sound that starts for this word is y y, like a y. Yeah. So that's not. A, uh, a vowel sound. So we have to say a, uh, a union. All right, number three. Elena, it's getting exciting. Uh, the manager found a hair in her soap. Good, yes, excellent. Uh. Uh. Now, the difference between these two, how do we pronounce them again? Huh? Can you in say it again? Hair in her. Good. Yeah, the manager found a hair in her soup. Mm -hmm. Hair, her. Okay, the Americans would say hair and her. So the R is very distinct. When it comes to the British and Australian pronunciation, we say hair, her. Mm. So the R is not very distinct. Okay? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Number four, Sergey. That is really an ugly bag. I can't believe you paid two hundred for it. And 
yeah, 200 bucks or 200 dollars. That is really ugly. That is really an ugly. An ugly bag. An uh, uh, ugly. Very good. Number five. Mildred, Mildred Sun attend, attends a university in Houston, Texas. Yeah, Texas. yeah Houston, Houston, Texas. I know it's spelled with an H, but we pronounce it Houston. Houston. Houston, Texas. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, Julia? Can you give me a hand? I can do this by myself. Yeah, can you give me a hand? Very good, hand. So the, the H here is pronounced. Very good. <laughs> Seven, Elena. Uh, George was was driving very fast, more than uh, 95 mi uh, miles uh, an hour. Yeah, an hour. Yeah. An hour. An hour, because H is silent again. Mm-hmm, it's not pronounced. So we can actually say 95 miles an hour or 95 miles per hour, just in case you were wondering. But for the sake of our exercise, we have to say an. But you could say per hour as well. Okay, eight. Sergey. Mm, basil is a herb. It's a wonderful flavor. Ah, just a. Yeah, it's a herb. Very good. It's a herb. It's a wonderful flower. Flower. Okay. Now, I'm not sure with Americans. Uh, maybe Julia can help us out. Do the Americans say herb or herb? Uh, it depends because I heard both here. Because I thought I heard as well. Some of Basil is an herb. It's an herb. No, it's a herb. A herb, as far as I know. Yeah. Well, I, I heard both. Really? Yeah. Strange. Maybe there. Are, maybe both are accepted. But as far as I know, it's a herb. Yeah. All right. Number nine. Senia. Chemistry is a hard course. Yeah. Very good. Chemistry is a hard course. All right. And the last one, Julia. It's very difficult to get uh, A in physics. It's very difficult to get? Um, maybe NA in physics. Yeah, good. NA. Yeah. Very good. Okay, well done. Now, the or no article? I think this might be our last exercise. Okay, so it's saying here lakes, rivers, mountains, deserts, and oceans. Place the or no article before the nouns. Mm. Let's have a look. First one, Elena. Uh, on the lake, uh, T. Titicaca is located on the border between Peru and Bolivia. The lake. The? Yes. Sure. Uh, without an article. Uh, cool. I, I, I think that uh, we can use uh, article there. You think we should use the? All right. Okay. Does anyone think that we shouldn't use? We should use, yes. So everyone thinks that we have to say the uh, the lake Titicaca? Does anyone disagree? No, no I without. Without? I agree because everyone says Lake Michigan here without article. Yeah, of course, lakes. We don't we don't have articles. Mm -hmm. So Lake Titicaca is located mm -hmm. on the border. Okay. Yeah. So there's no article before the lake. Before the word lake, or mm -hmm. Lake Titicaca. Okay. What about number two, Sergey? There are three states located. 
on the Pacific Ocean, California, Oregon, and Washington. Very good. Yeah, there are three states located on the Pacific Ocean. Very good. All right, three. The Sahara Desert is located in Northern Africa. Yes, the Sahara Desert. All the deserts and oceans. Yeah, remember, we have to use that. Very good. Four, Julia. Um, Rocky Mountains pass through Idaho, uh, Wyoming, and Colorado. So you think no article? I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> no, I cannot. I think no article. Okay, what do the others think? Who thinks that we have to put the? I think. Elena? Mm-hmm. Sergey and Xenia, what do you think? I think with mountains we have to use that. Uh, Sergey? I think no articles. Oh, we got a split decision, 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to make it uh, odd. Uh, we have to say the. So the Rocky Mountains. They pass through Idaho, uh, Wyoming, and Colorado. We have to say that for mountains and ra ranges. Yeah, certain mountain ranges, for example. Uh, in Australia, we have Western Australia. We have the Sterling Ranges. Certain chains of mountains, the Rocky Mountains. We have to say that. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Five. The Nile is the longest river in the world. Because you is a river. I'm sorry? Yeah, you're absolutely right. The Nile. Yeah, the yeah. Nile. The Nile. Mm -hmm. Is the longest river in the world. Very good. Number six, Yulia. Uh, many people in Chicago take boat rides on Lake Michigan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look, your hometown. Well, you, you live very close to it. Nice. Okay, seven. Elena? Uh, China has one of the largest uh, discrete, discrete in the world. Uh, 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 the Gobi discrete. Yeah, the Gobi yeah. Desert. Okay. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. Very good. Just like the Sahara Desert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What about number eight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that this has been cleaned up, people go swimming in the Hudson River. Hudson River. Because it's a specific river, like a eel. Very good. The Hudson River. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number nine. The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean in the world. Are we positive? The Indian Ocean? Yes, the. Yes. Yeah, we should use the article there with oceans. They're very good, yes, excellent. I want to make sure you're all 100%. All right, number 10, Yulia. <sighs> The 2006 Winter Olympics were held in uh, uh, the Alps in northern Italy. Yeah, you sound a bit cautious or doubtful. Alps are just like um, the Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just because it, it, at school we learned, uh, or we were uh, 
reading uh, Carpate Mountains without uh, an article. Ah, uh, what in English or in? In English, at English classes, yes. Really? Mm. That's true. Ah, uh, we have to say the Alps. You know, the Alps are very well known. Just like the Rocky Mountains, the Himalayas. Maybe yeah. because Karpate is not that famous. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, 11. Elena? Uh, the Greenland, the largest island in the world, it is seldom green. The, the, the Greenland? Yeah. Does yeah. anyone disagree? I think it's country. Country, so yeah. country. Love article. Yeah, it's a country. Greenland is a country, so no article needed. Mm -hmm. Unless it's, you know, the kingdom of Greenland, for example. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then we, we say the, the kingdom of Greenland, or the Greenland Union, like the Soviet Union, for example. But here, if it's just by itself, like Spain, England, France, Germany, mm -hmm. China. Without yeah, article. Yeah, all, always without articles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Number 12. The Mojave Desert is located in California, Nevada, and Utah. Very good. Another desert. we got to use the... Excellent. Number 13. Sochi. On the Black Sea in Russia, we lost the 2014 Winter Olympics. The... Ex yes, the Sochi on the Black Sea in Russia will host. I hosted it already. It's finished now. All right, 14. The St. Lawrence River flows through Ontario and Quebec, Canada. Very good. The St. Lawrence River the, yeah, flows through Ontario and Quebec, Canada. Have you been to Canada, Julia? No, so not yet. <laughs> no, I'm sure you will. It's not very far from you. That's true. No. All right, and the last one, Elena? Um, I think uh, with article there, the Himalayas are the high, highest mountains in the world. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, same with the Alps and the Rocky Mountains, all those are mountain ranges, so we have to use the article the. All right, well done, guys. You've done really well. See, it's good to have a repetition like this. You know, a lot of the time students think, uh, articles, they're so easy, but actually they're not. There are a lot of cases where, you know, students, even natives, believe it or not, natives even make this mistake of using articles when they shouldn't, or vice versa. All right, so the next exercise will continue next time. Uh, plenty of, you know, practice here for us. So that's it for now. Thank you very much, guys. Um... Mm -hmm. Are there any questions before I let you go? No, no questions. All righty. Well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and uh, I shall see you next week. Okay, bye. All right, Thank bye, you. guys. Take care. Thank you very much. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. Wish you have a good time on your game. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> see you. Right. See you next time. Bye bye, guys.